What's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna disturb this guy. He's doing a TTG job of a uh, thousand two hundred pieces A4 printing. So today uh, we're gonna print on charcoal t-shirt. This is a hundred sixty GSM, which is a very thin t-shirt. So we have to dial down, reduce the treatment, use probably eighteen to twenty grams, depending on the fabric. So this one is a cube treatment machine. We use a level eight, which is a reduced one. If you use a lesser number, means more treatment. Right. So this one is a single nozzle treatment. The treat, the spray uh, is not so strong. So usually we use brush to lay down the fibers and to even out the treatment. Right. Move on. We have to dry out this. With this swing away hip press and manual one. So, what I like about this swing away and uh, manual one is because uh, you can do hovering, hovering. So, you don't press all the way down, okay? You can do hover to dry out the pitchman and inks. And then we use a reduced temperature and time, which is 170 Celsius and 30 seconds, so we don't burn out the charcoal color. Okay, see the steam is coming out. We use this uh, non breathable Teflon for the treatment because uh, it lasts longer. Probably you need to change uh, every 6 to 12 months. Alright, so it's done. You can see, get a bit discolored because of the heat. A bit of a purplish. This one depends on the fabric and the colors it will react to heat. But this is okay. Once it is uh, cooled down already, it will change back to the colors and off the wash, it will go away. Alright, so the normal gap is uh, 3 inches. This is a 4 inches gap. So usually, I will put center, hold it like this. Drag in. Okay, so now it's center already. Just pull until it leaves about 1 inch here. And there you go. And then you press down gently. So it sticks to the platen and you won't have any alignment issue and then just tuck in the sleeves and everything and fire it up okay this is a a4 horizontal so it'll take uh, probably one minute for the graphics lab setting i use the default setting most of the time it's a highlight 5 uh, mask 3 Okay, so we just mess with the pre-treatment. Okay, we don't uh, usually adjust the settings at graphics lab unless it's a hoodie or polo where you have to add uh, more highlights. And we usually add one level of hi highlight only. No more than that. Okay, see the red is a uh, very rich, chili red. Probably the camera cannot catch up the chili red color. Okay, but it's a very vibrant red. Okay, the colors you see here. Okay, it will it will become a bit dull once you once you hit press. Okay. All right, make sure your hit press can thread in, so you don't get the you know shadow on the other side when you do the hit press. Okay, for curing. We use clamshell, it's easier to insert and it's a much cheaper. So this setup all all full set is uh, quite cheap compared to conveyor. Of course if you have the budget you can go for conveyor. And then for the curing we use a matte teflon so you get the matte effect of the printing. Okay if you use the non-printable one you will get a very glossy print and kind of like very sticky. And of course uh, with same setting reduce temperature about 170 celsius and 30 seconds and there you go yeah very nice let me close down first okay see the discolored is a bit better now this one once you wash off it will go away okay once it's cooled down it will look even better okay you won't get the very obvious thing 
okay so yeah here you go straight center no issues with the colors done one piece right see you in the next video